G'day and welcome to our wrap of round 12 of the Western Region Footy League. Steve, Tom and Kevin Hillier. Uh, let's have a look at the games. Uh, Tom, so you saw a beauty here at Spotswood, uh, but uh, the Woods been just too good. Far too good, Spotswood. Disappointing St Albans, uh, just their, just a lack of endeavour and drive today. I thought they, they looked flat and we know St Albans do that a lot. The uh, good weeks, they're great. The bad weeks, they're less than average. But Spotswood take nothing away. They're new group of players and they've got about five or six very good players out including their coach Tommy Langlands who should be back soon but uh, they've got a great system they're going alright the Woodsman Not a lot of information we have on the uh, Yarraville Sydney Eagles Altona game except that uh, Altona just too good and we expected that We did yeah and Altona look them, say, uh, them Albion a few of the younger sides with younger groups they're going to have once again the good weeks the bad weeks but Altona they're on the right track they're, they're bringing in you know three or four different kids every couple of weeks so um, through the system through the Altona um, juniors and that so uh, they're going all right. They're on track. Hoppers Crossing. Uh, we talk about the kids. Mm. Kitchen with another three goals this week. Uh, they uh, knocked over Port Melbourne Colts by 20 points. So good win for them. I think that's a great win for Hoppers. Poor, poor Colts and Hoppers always have a great contest. And we know uh, Colts will always throw everything at them. Um, just today, to, for Hoppers to stand up there where 12 months ago, you know, they probably wouldn't have. The kids are coming on. Uh, we mentioned Ryan Kitchen. You're right. Ryan Kitchen was fantastic. I think this kid's going to get bigger and better, as is Riosa. You know, they've got all the group all the way down the line. Uh, Hoppers, they, uh, they, they're travelling along well. Werribee Districts and Sunshine, Tomsey, uh, Sunshine really playing for their season, but Districts just show they know how to win. They do, and uh, we mentioned the game last week they had against uh, Deer Park where they uh, they fought back uh, Werribee Districts, lost a game against Deer Park, but come back you know, four, uh, four or five goals down to get close enough. Today against Sunshine, they were getting rolled, Sunshine, and the season was on the line, make no mistake, Sunshine Kangaroos, but the character that Werribee Districts have got to come back today and win that game, I think they're uh, definitely on the right track and heading in the right direction again. No great surprise, Deer Park, big winners, Condos eight goals, Wong yeah. six, so they've just got so much firepower. Look, he'd be disappointed, uh, Aaron Timms, as the Albion team would, uh, would be. They wanted to get away to a good start, they haven't, Deer Park have just flexed their muscle today, that's a big convincing win. You know, this time of year, Deer Park, you know, I know it's a home and away, they know they're going to be playing finals, they know they're going to finish on top of the ladder, they just have to keep that motivation going each week. Today, as I say, they've just shown how good they are, Deer Park, and a big, that's a big win against Albion. Division 2, let's have a look at those games and uh, the win of our Falcons on the back of O'Shea kicking a bag of goals again today, I think kick 14, uh, knocked over the Brookers. Yeah, very good uh, win of our Falcons, a fight back from last week. Braybrook, look, just going through the motions a little bit at the moment, it's Division 3 for them uh, in two weeks' time, um, you know, and that, that's fine thing, you know, they've, they've still got a lot of work to do uh, on and off the field down at Braybrook, but win of our Falcons, with still some uh, key players out of that lineup today, have had a, a, a huge win. Good to see Caroline Springs get another win up. Uh, they won fairly easily, 13 goals in the end over what a very disappointing Sanctuary Lakes. I think we're all, all a little bit surprised with this one, the scoreline. I think Caroline Springs, we may have expected them to win, but a lot closer we, we thought it should have been. Uh, Buttergear Clark with another six today. Yep. Uh, geez, he's having a good season up at front of goals, and uh, I know their coach Paul uh, Grocott would be pretty pleased uh, the way they've gone about it, Caroline Springs. So that, that uh, once again, just shows that uh, they're fifth at the moment. Um, still a lot of football to go in Division 2 throughout the season. And they may still get in and scrape a spot in the four. Man Lakes had a big win over North Sunshine. Parkside had a very big win over Auburn Vale. Uh, the Tane Titans, uh, uh, they're managing to get two teams on the on the park every week, which is a victory in itself. They went down in a big loss to North Footscray. One I did want to talk about was uh, the rap that the Glen Auden coach, uh, Stuart Daly, gave to the Laverton boys. Yeah, he did. He mentioned, uh, we just had the final siren before on the radio part, and he spoke about uh, that first quarter's as good uh, as, he's, as he's seen all year from an opposition side, and he's talking about Laverton. They, uh, they were leading at, uh, at quarter time. Yeah. And I tell you, we, uh, Lavenon, um, they're a good little outfit. Um, Chris Smith is doing a great job down there. He doesn't want to talk finals. They <laughs> possibly will be playing finals in, in five, or six or seven weeks' time. Doesn't want to talk about it. Low key, but I've got to say, uh, they could do a bit of damage. And West Footscray, the other big winners from round 12. That's our wrap of round 12 for Division 1 and Division 2. Catch you again soon on the, uh, on the Western Region Footy League website.